The Love Story of the Shepherdess and the Chimney Sweep Legend Stories for Kids. Today we have a book named The Love Story of the Shepherdess and the Chimney Sweep Ye Legend Stories for Kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. Once in an old house filled with a sense of timeless nostalgia, there were many beautiful objects. Amongst them, two stood out prominently, a porcelain shepherdess and a chimney sweep. They stood side by side on the ornate mantel, surrounded by a collection of other charming knick-knacks, each with its own story. The shepherdess and the chimney sweep were deeply in love, their affection for each other shining brighter than the polished surface of their porcelain skin. The shepherdess, with her delicate features, rosy cheeks, and graceful attire that shimmered in the soft light of the room, spoke softly to the chimney sweep. Her voice was like a gentle breeze. Do you really think we shall live our whole lives together on this shelf, amidst these familiar trinkets and bauble? The chimney sweep, with his black but cheerful face, lit by a spark of optimism, replied with a voice as warm as a cozy hearth, I promise, as long as we stay here among these familiar things, in the comfort of our little world on this shelf, we shall be safe. One day, an old Chinese figurine, an imposing figure with intricate patterns and a stern expression, claiming he was the shepherdess's grandfather, declared that she should marry a grand general. This general, also made of porcelain, was a majestic figure with a proud stance and a gleaming sword at his side. He boasted arrogantly, I can break myself and the shepherdess into a thousand pieces if she refuses me. Frightened by this dire threat, the shepherdess turned to the chimney sweep. Her eyes wide with fear reflected the gravity of their situation. We must flee tonight, or I shall be forced into a miserable life without you, bound to a destiny that is not my own. Under the cover of night, they embarked on their escape. The house lay in a hushed silence, only broken by the soft ticking of an ancient grandfather clock. The chimney sweep comforted her. Fear not, my love. I know every nook and cranny of this house. We shall find a way out. They reached a dark, ominous tunnel behind the hearth, the path to their uncertain future. This is our passage to freedom, said the chimney sweep, his voice echoing slightly in the confined space. The shepherdess trembled, but her trust in him was unwavering, a beacon of hope in the enveloping darkness. Emerging onto the roof, they were greeted by the vast, starry sky. The world outside was exciting, but filled with unknowns. The shepherdess looked worriedly at the vast expanse, her porcelain face illuminated by the moonlight. Is it safe out there in the wide world? The chimney sweep, looking at the horizon, where the dark silhouette of the town met the starlit sky, replied with a tinge of uncertainty, It may not be safe, but it is our only chance for a life together, to write our own story under these endless stars. But as they stood there, the shepherdess's courage faltered. I cannot do it, she whispered, a tear-like glimmer on her cheek. Let us go back to our shelf. There, we are safe and together. Understanding her fear, the chimney sweep agreed with a gentle nod. Our love will keep us strong no matter where we are. They returned to their spot on the mantel, a place of solace and love. Although they did not venture into the world, their love for each other was a journey of its own, a testament to the strength found in love and familiarity. The old Chinese figurine, witnessing their profound love and unwavering bond, relented. The shepherdess was not forced to marry the general. 
The shepherdess and the chimney sweep remained together, side by side. Their love was a testament to the comfort and joy found in familiar surroundings, a beacon of hope and love amidst the collection of silent witnesses on the mantle. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.